Getting the two highlights was step one in solving the system of equations with three variables. I have a highlighted function here, I have a highlighted function here. Well, your next job is to take these two functions and you need to put them together. So, if I put them together, I'll get 16x plus 10y equals 28. I'll get 5x plus 6y equals 26. Now this looks exactly like the problems we used to do when there were only two variables. We said we needed to get rid of x, we needed to get rid of y, and it didn't really matter which one. Now as you can clearly see, we are not going to be able to get rid of things pretty easily because you can't turn a 5 into a 16, you can't turn a 6 into a 10. So you're going to have to change both functions. The way you're going to change both functions is you just find one letter that you want to get rid of. Like right now, I'm thinking I should get rid of y. Because I can turn a 6 into 30. I can do that by multiplying this by 5 and multiplying this by 5. I can also turn a 10 into a 30 if I multiply this by 3 and this by 3. Now, do not forget that one of those has to be negative. Let's make the 3 negative. And so, we multiply all that business out and we rewrite again. So after we rewrite this function, we're going to get negative 48x, that's 3 times 16, minus 30y, 3 times negative 3 times 28 happens to be negative 84. Down below, 5 times 5, 25x, plus 30y, and 5 times 26 is 130. Now we can add these together. We can say, okay, a negative 48, a positive 25x, you add that together, you're going to get negative 23x. Your y is eliminated. You add 130 to a negative 84, you're going to get 46. And then you solve for x. You say, all right, divide by negative 23, divide by negative 23, that's the inverse. Therefore, x is going to equal negative 2. You have now finished step 2 in solving an, a system of equations with three variables. Watch the next video, and I will show you how to get the final and complete solution for this problem.